Welcome back to the Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Joel chapter 1, where Joel described the plague of worms, locusts, caterpillars, and fire that came through Israel, and why, and where Joel warned all the people to repent. Joel started describing the plague. He told the elders of the people, there hasn't been anything like this in the land for a very long time. He said, tell your grandchildren to tell their grandchildren what the Lord has done to the land because of your wickedness. The palmer worm came and has destroyed our crops and plants. Then the locust flew in and has eaten every green thing. Then the canker worm came in and ate every plant. Then the caterpillar came and ate even the bark off of all the trees. And after everything was eaten, the Lord sent wildfires to ravage the land. Even all the streams of water are completely dried up. Joel told the people, Wake up, you drunkards. Don't you know why this plague has come? It is because you constantly sin against the holy God. Joel told the people that the Lord sent this plague because of their sin, but not because he is evil or mean. God sent the plague to get the people's attention that they were living a destructive lifestyle and that they would earn nothing but eternal death if they did not get off the road they were on. Joel told the people to repent for their sin immediately. He told the priests to mourn, sleep in sackcloth and sit in ashes, and repent to the Lord. The priests were supposed to be leading the people to become more holy and to focus on the Lord, but they were forsaking their duties. Joel told the priests to declare a holy fast and summon all the elders of the land to God's house to repent. And then Joel started prophesying about a future horrible day called the Day of the Lord. The most important verses in this chapter are Joel 1, 14 and 15, which state, Sanctify ye a fast, to call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God, and cry unto the Lord, Alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that God wants all of us to repent for our sin. He wants us to know that He will do many things to try to get our attention because He does not want anyone to perish. Plagues and heartache may seem unpleasant at the time, but we see that God allows these things to bring many people back to Him through repentance. Is there anything in your life right now that you don't enjoy? Do you think the Lord is trying to get your attention through those things? Surrender your soul and repent for your sin. Turn your back on this wicked, doomed world. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. The Father raised Jesus from the dead and validated everything he said. The Lord said that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in our heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, we will be saved. And He never lies. Put your trust in Him today. Thanks for watching the Joel chapter 1 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos too. See you next time.